What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw Bernie, the Miami Heat mascot. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of the page and draw a circle for the ball. We're gonna start right in the middle, come all the way around towards the bottom of our circle, and bring that back up towards the top. Now I wanna add some lines inside that circle. Starting from the top in the middle, draw a straight line coming all the way down towards the bottom. Let's go back up to the top. We're gonna to add a line that bends out toward the left, come around and then in toward the middle. Let's go back up to the top and do the same thing on the right. Going out, come around, and then bend that in. Now I wanna tuck the eyes in behind the ball along the top. So we're gonna leave a gap in the center. Let's start over on the left, we're gonna draw an oval. We're gonna go up towards the top of the eye, round this out, come down, just pull that in towards the side. Let's go over towards the right, Going up towards the same height, go round up the eye, come down, and then bend that in. Let's push the pupils towards the inside of the eyes. We're going to start from the left side, draw a circle. Going around, and just tuck that in along the bottom. I'm just going to line that up on the right side. Now on the top left side of each pupil, let's add a small circle for a highlight. And I'll fill the bottom of the pupils in black. Now just up above the eyes, we're gonna add the hairline. We're gonna start right in the middle with a point. Let's bend this out towards the left, go up and over towards the right. Let's go back to the bottom, go out and then up with a short line. Now you wanna add some layers going out towards the side. From the bottom, let's step up towards the left, bend this out and then up. Do the same thing on the right. Let's do that one more time. Stepping down, go out and then up. Let's draw the edge of the face going around the eyes and ball. We'll start underneath the hair, go around the eye, come down and in towards the side of the ball. Now let's go back to the left side and work our way around the top of the hair. We'll step down, bend this up and then out to create a point, and then taper that back in. Now it's gonna work our way up across the top. We'll go up and in, and then bring that back down. Let's add another point, going up and across towards the middle, bring it down, let's do that again, and come down. Now we're going to curl this up in the opposite direction, going out and up, come down and in towards the side. Now I want to create an overlap, I'm going to step up, add one more point, come down, just pull that in towards the side of the head. I want to add some fur points along the outside of the head. From the top left, step up, then it's out, and then down. Just pull that back up with a short line. Let's do that again. Bring down and in, and then back up. Let's mirror that over on the right. Let's add one more point. Bring down and out on either side. Pull that back in come down and then out towards the base of the neck. Let's curl this back up towards the inside. Now we're going to go to the left side and work our way over towards the right. Come down and across. We're going to add some points. Go up. Add another point. Go up. Now let's just round this out in the opposite direction. And then pull that back up towards the right side. Now from here we're going to draw on the side of the body. Let's start underneath the head on the left, bend this out and then down towards the hip. Go to the right and do the same thing, coming down towards the same height. Let's connect the hips with a curve, going up in the middle and then back down. Let's add the double zero in the center of the body. We're going to start with the one on the left, we're going to draw an oval, coming all the way down towards the bottom and then back up. Let's leave a gap and draw that again. Let's trace these ovals along the inside. Now in the center of the body, let's step down at a curve, going up and then down. 
I want to leave a gap in the center, start on the left side, draw a straight angle line coming down and out towards the left heel, move over towards the right, come down and out towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet, start from the left heel, then go out and then up. Now you want to see the bottom edge of the foot. Let's start from the left side, it's going to round out the toe, come in and just pull that down towards the heel. And then from the outside of the foot, curve the toe going up. I'm just going to bend this down, aiming towards the heel. I'll stop right about there. I'm do the same thing on the right, pulling that down. From the edge of the foot, we'll step up, curve this in, and then down towards the inside of the leg. Let's add a thick trim along the bottom of the foot. I'll step up, I'm just going to follow that curve, coming in towards the heel. and then we'll add that toe cap. Start from the top of the foot, bend this in, and then down towards the sole. Now we're going back up to the hips, draw a straight angle line coming down and out towards the bottom edge of the shorts. And we'll bend that in, and then down towards the inside of the leg. Let's add a trim along the bottom of the shorts. We'll step up, just follow that same curve going across. Add a thinner trim along the top. Again, just follow that same curve. Now we tuck the legs in underneath the shorts. From the outside corner, we're going to step in, draw a straight angle line coming down and out on top of the feet. Now from the tip of the shorts, we're just going to round this out and just tuck that in. So the shorts wrap around the leg. Now I'm going to go back up to the top and stretch the arms out towards the side. Let's we'll start from the side of the head, then the arm going out and then up towards the wrist. From the wrist, let's bend the thumb going up and in, round up the thumb, and then bring that out and then down. Now we're going to add three fingers on either side. We'll start from the outside of the thumb, we'll go straight out, round up the finger, come down and then in. Let's layer two more fingers in behind on either side. Out, round up the finger, and in. Draw the third finger coming around. I'm just going to pull this in and then up towards the wrist. Let's go to the bottom of the palm, curve the bottom of the arm coming down and in. Let's add some fur going out. In, let's add one more point. Going out, come down and in towards the side of the body. And do the same thing on the right. Now I'm going to trace that pad in the center of the hand. Let's start from the top of the bottom finger, go around, come down along the bottom of the palm, and pull that up, come in, up, and then out around the thumb. Do the same thing on the right side. Go around the bottom finger, and then up towards the palm. Come around up towards the thumb, and then out. Now I'm just going to trace out the tip of each finger, going up and then in. And do the same thing on the right. And we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how I draw Bernie from the Miami Heat. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want to draw more characters like this, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.